Hey. Damn kids. What's up, Trek viewer? My name is Ryan. I'm 26 years old. I live in the Northeast Ohio area, north of Akron, south of Cleveland, right in the middle of Cuyahoga Valley National Park, in case you're familiar. I've spent most of my childhood outdoors. I was a Cub Scout, and then I was a Boy Scout, and then I became an Eagle Scout. So I've been on weekend long and uh, overnight backpacking trips, but I've never really done any sort of through hiking or like long distance backpack. But I would say I'm well above average to experience, except in that final category. I'm not really sure where the idea started to do a through hike. I think it started in early 2016. I was a soon to be college graduate. I was unhappy in a lot of what I was doing and I was just was in not a very good mental place. And late one night on YouTube, I came across some original vloggers of the AT before there were groups that did it for the trek. And I just saw that and became enamored with the idea and realized that I wanted to reconnect with being outside, seeing something that wasn't my backyard. And so I just thought to myself, that is something that I would like to do and that's something that I could do. However, the only problem was is I was broke, so I decided in two years, in 2018, I was gonna do it. So I started telling everyone. I told family, friends, strangers, it didn't matter who you were, I was telling you. The most common question I got was why, and I think that's still to this day the most common question of why. I don't think really anyone ever understands why somebody would wanna do something like that. I think the only people that do understand are those that do it. My biggest critics were my parents, and they didn't understand why, but I just didn't wanna fall right into the societal norms of going to school my entire life and then getting a job straight out of college and then just doing that. So I spent all of 2016 budgeting and saving money and doing research. I ended up meeting somebody and then a year later in February of 2017, my mother unexpectedly passed away. My brothers and my father and I didn't really get to say our goodbyes. It was hard and I think that doing this trail kind of just became a personal vendetta of mine. I, it kind of just made me angry and something that I wanted to prove that I could do it. So when 2018 rolled around and I was driving down there and spending my final night in a bed, I had a really big reality check and I kind of had my first uh, situation with like separational anxiety and FOMO and I felt very selfish about leaving behind people and I kind of just questioned everything and I wondered what the hell I was doing. And so by the time I even stepped foot on the trail, I realized that two years prior in 2016 to now, my life was completely different. Than yeah, I've been on the trail before, I've made an attempt, it was a massive failure, and I know what it's like to get eaten alive by the AT and then spit out. I came home, I felt very down on myself, not pursuing it more seriously, ended up becoming one of the bigger regrets in my life. By the end of 2018, my significant other and I parted ways. So 2018 ended up kind of being a really crappy year for me. The beginning of 2019, I made my resolution as if I am still in the same dead-end job, doing the same old thing in the same old apartment, by end of summer, early fall, I'm doing it. So I sort of like half prepared, half budgeted for it, and then come summer, I kind of knew that I was gonna do it. And then as the year went on and it got closer and closer to fall and winter, I started telling my family and friends and like my inner circle. So I started thinking more and more about why I wanted to do it and then I realized I wanna grow old and look back on myself and be proud of who I was and what I overcame and what I did. I came to the conclusion that the idea of doing this through hike is just a mental recharge and to just start over and start clean. So what ended up leading me to applying for a vloggership was I realized that I had just spent the last few years living vicariously through them and I saw the ups and downs that they were having and I figured for somebody like me who doesn't really necessarily like to talk about myself publicly, it would be a very uh, eye-opening experience to force myself to have to do that. And then I figured why not try and give back to the next group of people who are doing the same thing as me, which is just trying to live vicariously and to see whether or not I really want to do this. So I think the leading motivation for my through hike is I've experienced firsthand what it is to fail on a big scale and I've realized what it's like to lose somebody close to you without getting the opportunity to say a proper goodbye. So it's taught me to cherish life a little more than just sitting still and doing nothing all the time because I'm somebody that hates doing that. I hate sitting still and I hate doing nothing. I'm doing this for a full mental recharge. Don't know what's on the other side and that's the scariest and most pure part of this entire experience. So I guess I'll unpack this bad boy and I'll show you what's going on inside of it and then we'll go from there. Uh. 
Alright. Let's see what's going on here. Ooh, you all thought I was ready to go. It's just a pillow. So originally I was planning on ending this video with a quick unofficial gear walkthrough of what I've got together so far, but I changed my mind at the last minute. Within the next week or two, I'll release that. And then somewhere down the line before I head out officially, I will show you guys my final gear so you can see what I've added and what I've changed. So thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. Uh, keep your eyes peeled for more of my videos and take care.